Hello, gang. Hello, friends. Hello, gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff for nail stuff and stuff she does for nails. It's done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. I'm back. I'm back. I'm Batman. I feel like we have so much to catch up on. It's been a while, but we'll jump straight into the new Madame Glam January collection, which is called House of Glam. So we'll have a look. Oh my goodness, look how delicious and dark that one is. I love it. Um, we'll have a look at them and then we will swatch them. Don't forget that you can get a whopping 30% off at Madame Glam using the link in the description of this video, of all the videos, and the code MissJo30. So yes, we'll look at these, we'll swatch them, and then we'll do something with them. Had no idea what I wanted to do. I had no plan for this video, so we just kind of make it up as we go along. These colours are very sort of earthy, but rich at the same time. This green, oh, I think I like green now. Who'd have thunk? Do you like green? Let me know. Um, I hope you are all well. I hope you've all had really lovely Christmases and New Year's. I did nothing on New Year's Eve. Not a massive fan of New Year's Eve. Um, it just, I don't know, it's kind of creepy, I think. <laughs> used to go out all the time for New Year's Eve. Go and just get absolutely... Oh, wait, look at these. Doesn't matter how drunk I get on New Year's Eve. These are new. They're their texture gel paints and they're textured. I know. They are weird in a good way. They're good weird. So that's the white and this is the black. And we are going to swatch them as well. And I need your guys' opinions. No, I need your guys' ideas of what to do with these textured paints. I've got a couple of ideas um, but I, I need more. Um, so if you have any ideas of what to do with the textured paint, the white one especially, we're going to swatch them now, sorry. Um, I'll do one coat on camera and then I'll do a second coat and top them off and then we'll have a look at them in all their loveliness. Um, the white tex texture gel paint will be amazing at Christmas to paint it on and then before curing, carve out a pattern um, as if it was written in the snow. That would be amazing for that. Uh, where were we? I was just looking through lover and hater comments and laughing at the ones that say that I talk too much or I ramble too much or stuff like that. Maybe we'll try and get our lovers and haters in today. But it seems like I am starting as I finished. Finished? Finished? just kind of a bit rambly, but I guess that's just who I am. So I'm not gonna change that for anybody. My New Year's resolution is not to uh, placate the haters. No, no. My New Year's resolutions are to get organized, which is why I had planned on coming back on camera um, in January and I will, but I'm just doing some more organizing for the press-ons that I'll start doing soon. It will be soon. There's just a few more things I need to sort out. Um, but I've been organising my desk. Everything's been out. Oh, you should have seen it the other day. Um, organising my desk, organising my brain, just trying to organise my life so I can be, you know, so things can run a lot more smooth during this year. That's the plan. So this is the January collection. Oh, I love that. Look at Mystique. Oh, Mystique is beautiful. I love these colours. They all go nicely together. I think you could use any of these together um, and it would make a really nice combo. We are going to use Royal Card, Astrological Goddess and Seek and See. I love the names of these all a bit sort of cosmic-y, mystically. So don't forget you can get 30% off at Madame Clam using the link in the description and the code MISSJO30. Let's swatch these. I'm using the Madame Glam application brush. Um, 
Oh, look, there's teeth marks on that little plastic thing where I <laughs> have to bite it off sometimes. So I'm going to do half and half on this nail. This is quite a big tip. And I put a bit too much on my brush there. This is really nice to paint with. Something, it's just a nice creamy texture, but also a lumpy bumpy texture. I don't know how to describe it, but it feels really nice to paint with. It feels nice on the brush. It feels nice on the nail. Um, so we're going to put that on. It's so opaque and it does dry, or cure, sorry, with no tack. So if you were going to do a snow design, so you do this bit here, and then before curing, use a cuticle stick or a dotting tool to carve out a pattern and then cure it, and then it would be done. You wouldn't need to top it. It does say that if you are going to top it to keep the texture, you will need to sponge on the top coat because if you do a top coat over it, you're going to lose the texture because it's you're going to be smoothing it out. So, but you don't need to top coat. But if you're doing it in maybe little areas and then you're top, I don't know, but you don't need to top coat. <laughs> so we're going to do, I've cured the white and then we're going to do the other half in black. I just wanted to see, see what it was all about. Um, but yeah, snow designs, the black one I think would be cool for kind of like a dragon's eye design or something, something like that. But I need your suggestions because I really want to use them because it's, um, it's just nice to paint on with. Even though it's lumpy bumpy, it feels really nice to paint on with. So let me know if you have any ideas of what I can do with it and we'll get a video done using this. So this is a close up, you can see, um, yeah, it's tack free, so it doesn't need topping. And it's, it's, it's scratchy, but not in a painful way. It's not like, you know, if you graze your face with it, it's not gonna rip your skin off or anything. Um, so it's a bit scratchy, but it's a soft scratch, but it just looks so cool. I just need to know what to do with it. <laughs> so, okay, we've seen enough. We've seen it, move along. So we're going to start this set with lowering our voices just a little bit because we're shouting. This is Royal Card and then Astrological Goddess. And then we're going to put Seek and See at the bottom. Seek and See is such a nice cream. I like a nice creamy cream. Um, and this is a nice creamy cream. So we're going to do the bottom bit bigger than the other two sections because as we ombre, we're going to, the colors will move down from top to bottom. So it will push out into the cream. So this is the Madame Glam Ombre Brush. Ombre Brush. Um, stop it and then we're just swiping side to side um, all the way down and I do lift off a bit as I get towards the bottom so I'm still swiping but I'm taking my brush a bit further away from the nail so that um, the I sort of stop taking the darker colors down a bit more because I do want the bottom to have a solid full cream as opposed to it changing a bit where we have brought the purple down. And then we're going to do a second coat, just zip through that. The second coat I always concentrate a bit more on, more on, because um, this is the final coat. You can do three coats with an ombre if you feel, if you're not happy with it after two, but I wouldn't go as far as to do four, but I'm definitely focusing a lot more on the blend in the second coat. So you can see the top bit there, there's a bit of a harsh line there, so I'll work on that. And then maybe do it in sections. And if I want to stop bringing the darker color down, then I'll wipe, so every time my brush goes off screen, I'm wiping it, just folding it, folding a lint wipe that's got some isopropyl alcohol on, just folding it in that and just pulling the brush out just to get the product off. And then sometimes working on the sides of the ombre as well, which on a client you will want to use a little detail brush for. You can use these ombre brushes with this technique on a client 
with the hand that you're using to hold their finger, you want to pull down on their side walls um, to avoid getting product on it. And obviously not swipe as far left and right as I am on this. I'm going, you know, a mile to the left and right here outside of the nail because there's nothing there. But your brain does kind of stop you from doing that when you're doing it on a person. Um, and if you do get it on the skin, then just wipe it off before going in the lamp. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, now we are doing two coats of the Seek and See on three nails. And I'm taking this Born Pretty Metallic Drawing Gel, which is a rose. Well, I'm going to stir it up because it's a rose gold. Um, and it is really nice, but I found that it's, you know, in Friends where Ross and Chanda try to have a coffee at home because of the bullies in Central Perk, you have to stir it, you know, stir and paint, stir and paint, stir and paint, because the, I found the pigment settled really quickly. Um, so that's why I was stirring a lot, because it kept sort of going back to silver. But it does have a, a rose gold tint to it. And I'm going to use the Madame Glam striping brush. Uh, you can get money off Born Pretty with the link in the description and this code which I can't remember off the top of my head but Born Pretty is such a good place for nail art bits and bobs well everything really stamping plates glitters just embellishments all that sort of thing and obviously they do gels and everything as well um if if I sound differently suddenly it's because there's been about a two and a half hour gap since I finished the last sentence, I stopped. I had a curry takeaway um, and now I'm in a different room. So I, there's no um, rhyme or reason to the swirly bits that I'm doing now. It's just a swirl and then another swirl. But I do try and finish each, try and finish the stroke when you're using any kind of chrome gel in sort of as much of a one stroke you can do because that will minimize brush strokes and help it seem even smoother and chromier um, <laughs> once it's topped. So I cured that and now I'm topping them with the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat because we're going to ombre inside this and if I messed up or got it on the chrome wanted to be able to wipe it without wiping directly onto untopped chrome because that would have taken some of the effect off uh, the chrome effect. I'm just going to jump in here and talk about today's video sponsor which is Julia. They are premium artisan jewelers and you can get to their website through the link in the description of this video. I've got quite a few pieces from them now. This one which is two rings as a stacker. I also have these earrings which I wear pretty much every day. I'm obsessed with these earrings. They're so cute. I sometimes sleep in them and they're comfortable to sleep in. Oh, and my owls wore these on Christmas day. I feel all witchy and magical with those on. And this um, tennis bracelet. Oh, look how sparkly it is. Oh my goodness, I did blind my relatives with it at Christmas and everybody commented on it. It's so freaking sparkly. So I thought this time the piece I'll pick will be to match that um, bracelet. Are you ready? <gasps> oh my God, look at it. It's so freaking gorgeous. I love this so much. And whilst I show you it, move it around and whatnot. I found out today, which I think I already know, knew but had forgotten, that Julia has established partnerships with three world-changing organisations. They are partnered with Oceanic Preservation Society, World Animal Protection and Give Back to Nature. So they do as much as they can to make the world a better place. And I love that, which is why a lot of their designs have um, animals and naturey stuffs in them. I do tend to go for the tamer designs because they've got some really awesome, crazy designs on there. Um, but look at this ring. Oh my God. I'll put a link to it in the description. It is so beautiful. It is from their engagement section. 
So I proposed to myself and thank the goodness I said yes, because that would have been embarrassing. If you want to propose to yourself or get any of their pieces, then follow the link in the description. I'll put a link to all these items as well. They have a sale on at the moment. Um, they also will have a Valentine's sale. So point to your loved one in this direction as well. Thank you to Julia for sponsoring this video. I am obsessed with your stuff. Let's get back to some nails. So we're going to apply the same colors that we did on the ombre inside this shape. It's, I don't know what shape it's, it's not meant to be anything, just a swirly hole. Um, <laughs> and then I will faff like a fucking champion to try and get these to ombre because obviously I don't want to use the ombre brush side to side because it will just go all over the place and I'll have to wipe which would be fine oh because we've matte topped the cream um, so that's been topped and the chrome has been topped so we could just kind of get a messy ombre on not a messy ombre but you know do it side to side with the ombre brush and then wipe away but that would be a sort of bit of a messy way of going about it so I'm trying to keep it inside our little frame so I'm using a really tiny detail brush to do um, like the pull down technique for an ombre which I don't like I don't think you can get as nice an ombre doing I mean I don't think I can get <laughs> as nice an ombre doing the pull down as opposed to side to side I've seen plenty of people do fantastic ombres that way just not me so I'll do this and kind of get a rough ombre so that we kind of have blend colors between each of the two colors and then at some point you'll see I switch to circular motions to um, blend together I'm going to add a bit more of the bottom color because I was losing it a bit um, I lose it quite a lot but yeah, it's fine so now I'm switching to circular motions to try and get this and then you reach a point where like you know when you're whisking egg whites or something or I don't know anything <laughs> and you think oh this is never gonna thicken this never gonna thicken and then suddenly suddenly you have these peaks it was like that like it felt like this ombre is just not getting anywhere and then it suddenly kind of was so I do faff Sorry, I just hiccuped. Mmm, <laughs> Peshwari Nan. Um, yeah, so I did faff around with that for a long time. And then I'm topping. And even though I've topped the chrome bits, I'm just going to go over them as well so that this top coat that we're using to cover the ombre is kind of all in one layer. So this section is all top coated with one, one the same layer of top coat. Does that make sense? yeah so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now I yeah the ombres it's not bad it's not great either but I think it's it's fine <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with being just fine so we're gonna pop that aside because again I didn't I didn't know what was going on didn't know what I was doing and this one we're going to do a swirl in the royal card uh, 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 what's it called astrological goddess and the chrome and then we'll top them with um no wipe each of the stripes after they've been cured and while we're doing that shall we have an episode of lovers and haters let's lovers and haters lovers and haters ba -ba 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 lovers and haters our lover of the day is Amethyst Orchid Beauty Spa. And she says, or he says, I don't know, jump to conclusions there. Um, before I watched a video of yours, I was on the fence about starting a YouTube channel. But after watching a video, I had an aha moment. Ah, one of those moments. Um, that I wanted my videos to be like yours, being all goofy and just having fun with nails. So thank you for being an inspiration. I think that... If anybody's on the fence about having a channel, I mean, I was on the fence because it's just terrifying. The thought of putting 
not only your work out there but your personality and then eventually when I came on camera putting out you know my face um just everything was really scary but there will always be people who like what you do there will also always be people who don't like what you do we'll get to one of them in a minute um but with regards to those people who gives a fuck they do it doesn't matter it means nothing if somebody doesn't like what you're doing it's up to them to not watch so yeah I'm glad I'm glad I hope you have got a channel now I'll go and have a look um but thank you for your comment we will get to our hater comment um in a little bit so for the next one what are we doing we're doing another swirl with this chrome and again trying to sort of finish on one long stroke um which I don't think I managed to do but I shouldn't have bought it all the way down the bottom like that should I looks a bit wank but that's fine uh, and then again I will top that so that anything I do from here on out on this nail if I do mess it up when I wipe it it's not going to affect the chrome if you wipe chrome before topping it it takes off the, the chrominess and then even if you top it after that it still won't top as shiny chromey um, as before or at all I, I have done that I think when I used the Madame Glam Chrome I tried to see what would happen if you wiped and then topped and it, it doesn't give the same effect so get that topped and now we're going to do another ombre in the corner here to match everything else yeah I don't know I don't know I had no no plans for this but sometimes when you get a collection like this where the colors all go all will go nicely together um i just instantly think ombre if you find if you have a nice combo of colors it's always nice to get an ombre in there somewhere so we're going to do the same here i thought i'd try with a different brush pulling doing the pull down technique quickly realized that that was not ideal so again, just kept faffing and faffing and faffing. Um, I do switch to a smaller brush. So I'll do the little downward strokes again. And then I think switch again to doing little circular motions. Once, once I've got sort of a rough blend going on. So that's what we're going to do here. I think I may have sped it up just a smidgeroo because um, I do like to keep going and going with ombres until I'm happy and I'm not very easily pleased <laughs> it takes a lot for me to be um, really happy with a set I've done even though you know most of the videos I put out I like but not all of them well not all of them at all do I look at and think that's amazing um, just because I'm constantly trying to be better at nail art and things or just, yeah, I don't know. I don't impress myself. I don't impress me much. Oh, I loved a bit of Shania. She was great. I'm just too comfortable lying on my bed now to um, try and talk about what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it because we've already talked about it. So we can just we can just watch my hand. This bit isn't slowed up. Slowed up? <laughs> slowed down. Um, I'm just working that fast. So it's very important that you achieve those speeds um, when you're working on clients. <laughs> and now we're going to top this corner. Again, I'm going to go over the chrome again just so that this final top coat here kind of is all in one in one piece. And then I think we'll put that to the side as well because, again, don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, the middle colour of that ombre worked as a nice transition colour between the, the darker and the lighter. You could go straight from the darker to the lighter, um, but I thought we'd chuck a colour in between. So I'm now taking the McCart Gem Gel Glue. And we're going to... I have, a, I have roughly planned out what I'm going to do with some crystals. But it was a kind of an on the plot, on the plot, on the spot planning. It wasn't a, a long thought out design. 
but I'm going to oh I found these little frames and they've got sort of ribbity bits you can see grooves <laughs> ribbity bits grooves in and I wasn't sure whether the groove side or the smooth side should be facing up but I thought I liked the groove side so we're going to plonk that on there and then do some crystals kind of going in line with the shape of that frame and then plonk one in the middle so that the crystals form a sort of S and then we'll put some little caviar beads in between everything and it looks a bit of a mess oh the nail has been wiped and possibly buffed because I think I tried something didn't like it wiped it off but it left a remnant of something so I had to buff it um, which is why it's buffed and um, so it looks a bit messy when you're putting crystals onto a buff nail with the gel because you just get all these sort of bits of gel everywhere but once you top it obviously clear on clear they disappear so we're going to use the top coat to seal around everything um, I obviously cured the crystals in place before topping and then we'll do the same on this again I've got sort of oh you can see bottom left there I've got a, a map a little plan of what we're going to do with crystals I'm rubbish at crystal placement and I don't imagine this year that will change um, <laughs> I just can't ever think of um, I don't look at a bunch of crystals or you know frames or any things like that and have ideas spring to mind you know I might look at some colors or think of a theme and ideas will spring to mind for a design but crystal placement no I, I'm useless um, so it's uh, it, this is kind of a lot for me <laughs> I feel like once I'd finished these I thought oh that did impress me not much but a little bit just the fact that I put some crystals in a relatively aesthetically pleasing manner on the nail um, without having to find a picture online to copy so we're just going to chuck a bunch on and then the whole set just became a bit blingy from then on out I thought that can be the theme kind of a purple-ish purple mauve what color is this kind of a I don't know plum princess vibes so we'll just get some bling on everything no theme what what the fuck theme do you do in January I don't know I don't know so um the theme is these colors are nice let's add some bling that's the theme for today um oh shall we have nearly running out of time shall we have our hater okay let's have our hater it is tatty tatty and they say too much blah blah ah oh, fuck off apparently it's up to this person how much one is allowed to speak in one's own videos can you imagine being the type of person to not like the noise of a video and instead of just moving along, just move along, trying to insult or upset a stranger on the internet? This is why, I think this is why, oh, I'm adding more crystals everywhere because I was just feeling a bit blingy. Um, I think this is why hater comments don't bother me because I think the type of person that would go out of their way to try and upset someone on the internet I don't I don't I don't care if that person doesn't like me I'm fine with that I have no desire for the type of person who leaves comments like that to like me um, <laughs> maybe their time would be better spent refreshing themselves on the first lesson you learn at school which is that sentences start with capital letters it's not tricky and it will benefit you more than leaving those comments because clearly, as I'm demonstrating here, I will talk as much as I want in my videos. <laughs> so we're just having another look over these new colours, the House of Glam January collection from Madame Glam and their new texture gels. And this is the final set. I hope you like it. It's just a kind of January has no theme theme. Um, just something it's January and we need nice new nails that's the theme thank you so much for all your nice comments over Christmas I really do appreciate them so much and I will see you in the next one bye, -bye.